So I've noticed in some of my videos, people have been commenting, how can you preview the film simulation within your Fujifilm camera before taking a picture? I know this can be a bit of a hassle and I was kind of confused at first when I started shooting, but I found a way that you can preview your film simulations before actually taking a picture so you don't have to go within the menus or even the queue menus and go back and forth and see what each film simulation looks like for the appropriate scene. That can be really annoying and it's much more of a hassle when you're just trying to take a picture, but you want to choose the appropriate film simulation. So this is something that's really useful for JPEG shooters. I don't do it too much often because I've stopped shooting JPEG. I might get back into it, but I've been shooting mainly RAWs, but you get the point. The answer and the solution is actually very simple and it's by setting a custom button or a custom setting to film simulations. And so I'll show you guys how I've set it up. So this works for my cameras such as the X100V and the X-T4. The newer models, it should work just fine. I'm not entirely sure how it works for the older models, things like the X-Pro1. You might not be able to set up certain custom buttons to match those things in the older models, but for all the new cameras, it should work. But I would try and test it with yours to see if it works. So if you can see right here, uh, my swipe left is set to film simulation. My swipe right is set to my custom film simulations. So like film simulation recipes where you kind of tweak certain settings within your camera to preview certain different like looks and aesthetics or even emulate film. So it's really, really easy to kind of scroll through this and you can see there's a live preview right there. So I can see what each film simulation looks like. And then I can select the one I want before taking the picture. It's a very useful, very simple, handy tool. And I'll show you guys how to set it up. So what you can do is you can hold the display or back button until the function setting or function menu shows up. You can find this button on the bottom like right-ish corner of your Fujifilm camera. And then you'll notice that there's a menu that you can customize a bunch of different buttons in your camera. We're gonna scroll down and then you can see I have my film simulation and my custom film simulation set up to my swipe functionalities. You don't have to do this. This is just a personal choice of mine. I find it more convenient and more easy to have my button layout set up like this. But I know you can set up things like the FN menu and some other stuff to show up the film simulation as well. But so I'll scroll down to my swipe right. You can see I've selected it and then I can scroll around until I find what says film simulation. And I'll do this for my swipe left as well, but instead of selecting film simulation, I'm selecting the C for custom setting or whatever. And that is your custom preset film simulations or film emulations that you've created within your menus. And then we'll go back to the main camera, swipe right or swipe left. And then you can see we have all our film simulations and all our presets right now. You can scroll through them and then you can easily preview the film simulations that you wanna use before taking a picture. This is super useful, super convenient, and I'd recommend it to anyone who's using JPEG or who likes film simulations in general. Like I said, I don't use this too much anymore because I've been shooting RAW pretty often, but I think I might start shooting RAW and JPEG to kind of dwindle down on my editing because the editing process, I have so many, I have a backload of a bunch of pictures that I just haven't edited yet. And film simulations are a really useful way to take pictures and just not have to edit all the stuff, you know what I mean? And just save the raw editing for the pictures that are really, really good or the ones you want finer control over. So anyways, you can customize whatever button layout you want to be. It doesn't have to be the swipe functionalities like I've mentioned, but hopefully this video helped you guys. It answered some questions. If you have any more questions on Fujifilm cameras and how to use them, please leave them down in the comments below. I'll answer them to the best of my ability. I don't know everything, but I, I'll help out as much as I can. If you haven't yet, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for more Fujifilm stuff and more photography stuff. Hopefully I'll see you guys in another video and thanks as always for watching. Yeah, short video today, guys. Peace.